Good morning. My name is Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Here we are in a new week, and this week I'm going to be looking at dollar yen, um, a pair that's really come to life over the last couple of weeks or so. Um, been the laggard of, of the currency markets for quite some time now. We've been in a steep downtrend. Um, so what I'm going to look at is, is the weekly chart, just to give you an overview of, of what trends we've been looking at uh, and the way it's been playing out recently. So looking at this weekly chart, we can see we've, we've been in a, a pretty much a, a gradual downtrend, you know, all the way back to, to 2016, 17. Um, and that accelerated last year, as you can see there, after we had the, the, the virus messing around. Um, we've had a, a steep downtrend uh, down there, which, is, which has gone from sort of the 109s, 110s, all the way down to, to the 103s, 102s. Um, that trend got broken the other week. And, you know, that was a, a potential first start to a change of trend. Um, as you can see from the chart there, it's been a strong move higher in the week since that break there. Um, but what it hasn't done really yet is change the, the, the much wider trend. Um, so what I've been looking at here is, is the levels which uh, are either going to halt this, this short term trend, if you like, this break of, of the short term trend, um, or whether we're going to see it continue further. Um, if we look at the weekly chart, I've, I've got sort of three levels marked in here. At the first level we're right in at the moment, which is 105, sort of 70, 80 range, up, at, up to the 106 and that FIB level there at 106, 07. Um, the next level above that is up at uh, the 108, and the, the third level above that is way up in the, the 109, 110. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just switch to the daily chart just to zoom in a bit on that uh, to look at the levels there. And you can see the three levels marked there. So you can see this first zone up into uh, the 105, 70, 80 zone, up into 106, 07, which is a 38.2 fib of the, the move after the virus uh, volatility that we've got there. Um, so this is a, a fairly wide area here. Um, but what I'm looking for, as I say, is if we start breaking these sorts of levels, then you know, it's confirming that this trend is perhaps really going to break. Um, but there's there's several steps that we need to take before we, we look to break the wider trend that, that we've seen going back to 2016. So the first level marked there. In the middle, we've got the 50% uh, FIB at uh, 107.15 at the moment. Um, that's uh, from there, 107, 106.90 to 107.15. That's another zone to, to keep an eye on. But more importantly, um, the bigger zone, up here is up at the 108. Um, that's the one I've marked number two, which is around the 61.8 fib as well. That has been a big historical level. Um, so this is one of the key ones I'm looking at. If we get above there, uh, then definitely, we, you know, things are really turning around. Um, then as we move up, we get into another big area, 109, 110. If we break that area, then, you know, this thing could be going to 115, 120 even. But as we like to say in trading, we can't get ahead of ourselves. So I'm, I'm looking at these steps, if you like. And if we find that we're holding at these steps, particularly this first one, then we have the potential to drop back down, maybe test down to sort of the 103 area, 104 area. And then we see whether we, we've, you know, just had a temporary blip to this trend or whether the trend is going to continue. Now, one of the themes that's, that's behind this, uh, the drivers, is, is the inflation trade that people are looking at or reflation, as people are calling it. And we've got some readings out on Wednesday, uh, CPI readings. Now, the, the Fed like the PCE inflation numbers, but the CPI data is what we're going to get and the market's going to move on it. So if we see a, a hefty move up in inflation there, you know, let's look at maybe two points uh, above what uh, it is currently, which in CPI is, is 1.5% and in the core is 1.6%. So if we see something 1.7%, 1.8% there, that's only a, a couple of pips below the, the Fed's target of 2%. And that's going to have them, that's going to get the market more expectant than the, the Fed are going to have to move early. And that's mainly what's behind this trade, how the Fed are saying they're going to keep uh, rates unchanged or keep them at a low level, keep QE going. But the market's going to put that to the test when if it starts to see inflation rising. So that's what we're looking at this week. Uh, say watch the levels and we'll see if they break or hold and uh, we'll come back to it another time. Good luck with your trading.